Hello folks, Mr. Kraken here. What's going on? I'm here in physical form. It's a miraculous change and one that might continue quite regularly. Now this is a review day and whereas most people consider gaming to just cover the digital medium, there are many other things to consider including tabletop RPGs. Now among tabletop RPGs there are many 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 broad spectrums across many multiverses. Today I'm going to review the Call of Cthulhu dice set from Pewdiepie. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look. Here we have the Call of Cthulhu RPG dice set. A nice little collection here in a beautifully displayed box with the obligatory cephalopodic demon as you'd come to expect. Now, on the back here, it says, and I quote, This official Call of Cthulhu RPG dice set is your gateway to untold horror. A dark, sinister force radiates from the vile Elder Sign, filling you with dread. Rumours say that if the Elder Sign comes up on all dice at once, the borders of reality break, and with the triumphant howl, the great old ones enter our world. Bringing forth destruction and madness, if you try to destroy these cursed dice, you will find out that they are almost indestructible and the horrific carvings are durable and won't wear out. See, I like these novel descriptions. Basically, what that says from a, a non-marketing standpoint is that the engravings, well, we'll see whether engravings are just print and, or subliminal dye, will not wear out. Now, that's something I'd quite like to test over the years. So let's take a look, shall we? I must point out that this isn't the first time I have actually opened this. They've been sat on the shelf waiting to do a video. So as we slide out there's just the dice. In the neat little box have we got any sticky stickies? Yes we have got a sticky sticky. Sticky sticky of doom. Oh for the love of God come on. It won't unstick. I'm not liking this. Is Oh, come on, man. See, I deliberately didn't cut my nails in case there were stickies. They're sticky. Obviously trying to protect the would-be controllers of the dice. What? 10 out of 10 for packaging, Q Workshop. 10 out of 10. You have defeated the mighty Kraken. Aha! There we go. Never defeat. Oop, 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 oop. Go in there. Go in there. Go in there. Nice little display box. There we go. So we'll get rid of that. There we go. On the nice little stand there. That can pop in there. So there's a lot of choice when it comes to dice. You can get um, a cheap pack of dice uh, you buy pound weight and things like that or you can buy specialist die just for the novelty factor or you know your own personal set as you'll find with most um, die sets you'll need more than what you actually get in the set now this particular set comes in green black which is obviously this set uh, there's glow in the dark pink and beige out of the four, I'd rather this one and the glow-in-the-dark if I was going to get another one. And if I'm truthful with you, when I ordered, I thought I was ordering the glow-in-the-dark. Oops! Never mind. So, let's have a look at our D20 to start off with. As you can see there, there's some lovely markings all around with the 
20 being the nice little symbol there of the beast not very heavy um, typical sort of dice weight if I just take a d20 out of the box of much dice uh, for comparison nope that's not d20 there we are and pretty much the same sort of your standard d20 size sharper ridges it seems this one that I've got here is quite smooth on the old um, ridge front but yeah very good d20 and obviously the others follow suit I always like d100s because I always try and do the, the you know the inception thing of the spinning top and it never works never Ah. Uh. Uh. No! Yes! Ah! Oh. Sure, so, I am going to try and do this for the closing video. Come on! Damn it. Well, there you have the D100. Again, it's got the symbol. In fact, we're going to try and open the fabric of the universe. Rip it asunder. See if it works. Again, D12. I'd really like the symbols on here. The little tentacles all the way around. And giving it a quick scrubbly dub with my nail there. Just to see the quality. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hardly anything's come off of there, as you will see. So I'm pretty impressed with that. And it is slightly indented. Um, and then the paint's been put in the grooves. So, top notch. Ah, uh, the classic six sided die. Can you imagine playing Liar's Dice with these? There's an idea. Ooh, but you need quite a few more of those, I imagine. Or you could try mixing it up and actually using your set of dice for Liar's Dice. Food for thought. Makes it a bit more of an extreme game, though, to be honest. I am... I, I thoroughly approve of these. Oh, yes, we were trying to open the fabric of the universe. I didn't think there would be. Damn it. Never mind. No. That can be in the centre. Let's make a pentangle. That'll work. Yep, all in all. I thoroughly approve. And... No. Wait. No. Fabric of the Universe is still in one piece. So, there you have it. The multiverse is safe. Cthulhu was not unleashed. And these... Beautiful dice can go in the box of much dice. There we go. Stay tuned. And if you like this video, please make sure you like it below. Subscribe with this little box here. And of course, leave a comment. If you'd like me to review something, just ask and I'll give it a bloody good go. Ta-ta.